Dan Jackman. And Roy Weeks. We're with Kentucky Anna Fly Tires. And I'd like to tie for you today a nice little soft tackle called a Winter Brown. And it is a easy fly for anybody to be able to tie. It's got three materials. And basically, I'm gonna tie this on a size 14 Tiempco 100. Uh, you can tie it down all the way to an 18. Actually, you can tie it down to a 20 if you feel. Uh, basically, I'm using a black six aught thread. Uh, I'll put the hook in. And what I'm gonna do is start the thread right about two eye lengths behind the eye of the hook. I'm gonna take this all the way down right to the bend and just let it sit. Take off my tag. And what I'm gonna put in is a little Unifloss 2X floss and this is real hot orange and you just need a little segmentation of it. And tie this in. Right there I left my thread. Pull it back a little bit, run it all the way up and stop it right there where the thread began. That's where I'm gonna the tie in point. The tie in point, as Roy says. <laughs> and what I wanna do is I wanna put this in a little hackle plier and I'm gonna spin it probably about 15 times. And the reason we're doing this is to create a rib. And uh, you'll know when you're done spinning this, if your line will start to fold up on itself. Like a kink? Like a kink. That's a good word. So once you've had that, if you have a rotary vise, you can run it yourself. You want to start right there at the back making sure you don't catch the hook point and just leave it and rotate it up. And you'll see that it gives you a nice little segmentation. And we're up here Right there. Now we want to tie this off and basically go one, one behind, two behind, hold it. Now I want to keep the tension on my floss because my floss is actually going to be my dubbing loop. And what I'm using is some flex. And it's very sticky. And I'm gonna wax my, and I'm gonna use some mahogany, super fine dubbing. And once I wax this and hold it tight, keep it down, I'm gonna use a little bit of dubbing. Now you know you don't wanna use a lot. You just, on this, I just wanna touch it. Just take a little piece and just touch it. Just enough to where it's laying, because you want to see the rib through the dubbing. So what you're doing is, you're just laying this on here, just like that. Now this can be fish just like any soft tackle. And what we downstream quartering. Down. Right. And I'm gonna rotate this because we want it bushy. And you want to be able to see that orange through that. And you're only gonna go back about four. And then go up four. And then as you can see, you can push that back and then tie it off. And you'll have your 
thorax. Then you can get rid of your floss. And then what I do is I take a little brush that I have. You know where I got this? Where'd I get this, bro? I think it might have been his dog's toothbrush. That's correct. <laughs> it is Buddy's toothbrush. Now, poor old buddy, Snaggletooth. Well, you know, he's getting to the age now where he doesn't need it. So you fluff this up a little bit. So what we want to do next is put in our soft tackle. And for this particular soft tackle, I'm going to use what? Chocolate. Chocolate. A chocolate. Hungarian partridge brown. We want a small one. I just want to tie that in right at the beginning. How did you prepare that feather? I cleaned off the fluff, stripped it up a little bit. I'm going to tie it in, cut the stem a little ways, make sure it's tied down. And I like using my little hackle pliers and you don't want to over hackle this fly. I believe a lot of times people over hackle they're a little, and as you come up, stroke it back, stroke it back. One, and two. And this color really matches that mahogany perfect. And as you do it, after two, come up, capture it, tie it off. Capture it, tie it off. And then what I do is I release that hackle I bring everything back and I come back and I catch it. Then I come forward and take off the tip. Now, I like to take, as I said, brush this out a little bit, get it flared up. I'm going to put in just a little bit of peacock and this is the ultra bright peacock ultra bright ultra bright you got the regular green this is super bright and I like to splay it out where you can actually see the barbs come out I like to tie it in about midway down take the now don't go crazy with this. Now just one, two, three, and four. Just enough to give it a little head. And come across, come across. I like to rotate my vise up when I'm using a downward eye hook. This helps keep your thread from slipping off. Cut that off. Get my whip finisher. Four is about it. And I like to finish it with the cut on the top. Bring it back down. And I like to put on a little bit of flex cement. Just on the hook eye area. Keep it from coming off. Try not to get it on the hackle or the peacock and keep it off the eye. And there you go. Simple fly, winter brown, great little soft tackle to fish with. Again, we'd like to invite you all out to Orvis, the paddocks, second Thursday of the month, six o'clock. Come on out and join us. Roy and Dan, hope you enjoy. Thank you.